Coming to you from CJSF 90.1 FM on top of Burnaby Mountain, welcome to the Studio 6 live session. I'm Jamie Sessford, and today on the show, we're excited to have only a visitor. Fantastic! Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for for coming into one of our uh, Studio Six live sessions. It's really a treat to have you folks here with us. Um, if you could maybe introduce yourselves uh, and uh, tell us what you do. Um, I'm Robin, and yeah, I'm found all these lovely people and put this together. What do you play, Robin? I play keyboard <laughs> and I sing. I sing sometimes. It's a great she thing. She writes all the songs. I write some of. I write the songs. A, a great, a great part of a visual medium that we're not used to up at CJSF is we can see what you do. <laughs> while you do. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, no I, one knows what you're playing. I forgot as well. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Continue. Uh, I'm Selena. Um, I do backup vocals. I'm Emma. I also do backup vocals. I'm Jeff. I play bass. Uh oh. Uh oh. And I'm 
Kevin, I'm shouting into the overhead microphones. I play the drums. <laughs> oh, can you talk a little bit uh, before we get into the next set of songs? Because we're playing a, a, or you're playing a bunch of new music that you've released uh, from Technicolor Education, your latest record. Um, can you maybe talk about how the group came together uh, to, to form its current version? Um, well, I started writing music for Four Voices initially, actually, <coughs> as a way to um, stop writing for piano. I still write for keyboard, too, but um, yeah, that's sort of how I got like more voices involved. And then, yeah, and that's how I found Jeff and Kevin and I just knew each other from the music scene, going to shows. Yeah. How do you find us? Actually, I didn't know any of you except for Kevin before the band started mm -hmm. because I asked our friend Winston Minkler, a bass player, um, if he knew cool singers. <laughs> and then that was us. There were a couple of cool <laughs> singers who knew a cool bass player. I think Winston knew Emma. Technically, and then it was Emma. Me first. Emma suggested me. <laughs> right. I'm think, not one of the cool singers. Because my email was like, "Can you join my band? I don't know if I'll be able to pay you, but like, we'll go for pizza." Yeah. After shows. I was like, "That sounds great." Yeah. And I was like, "Oh my god, they totally get it." <laughs> Pizza is a, a fantastic way to sell it. Right? So. Yeah. Feeding us. No. Yeah. I don't think we've ever gone for pizza. Yeah. We always go wow. for Oh, wow. I can't believe you. We always, we always go, for... go for fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, good, a good middle ground. We still uh, go for food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not nothing. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, if you folks would like to, let's uh, continue with, with some of the, the music. Cool. Could I make it? We actually get a cup some of the backup vocals in our monitor actually. Bass uh, is requesting a little bit of backup vocals in the monitor. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Get that back. I didn't see my wife for 43 years. I didn't we see my wife for 43 years. People. I didn't Why see my wife for 43 
steps of their fathers no fees would let them take opportunistic pressures severing sacred bonds resilience and nurture again the west had
bag. <laughs> <coughs> so that was the the title track from the record, Technicolor yeah. Education. Um, let's talk a little bit about about the record. Uh, it's it's a concept album of sorts, and it, it has a really, uh, I guess, interesting story in terms of its development. Could you maybe talk a little bit about what inspired this record? Um, yeah, basically when my grandmother was moving out of her house. <coughs> oh gosh, okay. She's moving out of her house and it's like the family home that people, everyone had lived there for, you know, 30 plus years. Um, yeah, we found like my great grandfather's head tag certificate and it sort of led me along this path of just like rediscovering or acknowledging or exploring uh, my mom's history um, and her family's history of moving to Canada. And so it kind of opened up all of this research that I did, um, or opened up like a lot of inspiration to do some research. And so, yeah, this particular song, Technicolor Education, was actually about um, my mom's projection of what it would be like to live in North America, like before she moved here. Yeah. And, and uh, how, I guess, how, how was that received? Uh, in terms of like the, the the song itself uh, throughout your family, oh, um, <laughs> I feel like they think it's great. They're just like, oh yeah, it's great. I feel like it's not. They don't. It doesn't seem to be like for them. Like I feel like in a lot of ways, this material is for everyone else because they already know like what I'm saying. They're like, yeah, we know. Um, so yeah, that was actually really interesting realizing that. <laughs> They're like, good for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we know. Like, you know. Oh, you get it. You get yeah. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was, well, and the thing that really struck me when I was doing this initial research was that, like, my mom's grandfather, who paid the head tax, he moved here in 1920. But then it wasn't until 1968 where the rest of the family moved over. So there was, like, 40, 50 years, basically, of, like, separation. And so I was basically just being like, Why? And so that's what led me down. That was actually the main instigator. At what point did you decide that uh, a go- the best way, or maybe maybe you have other ways that you would want to express this story, but at what point did you think that this would make for an appropriate record? Oh. Did you have a moment that, that um, where you're just kind of like, you know what, I, like a, a great way to kind of honor this history or the story would be through music? I think it was a bunch of different things. Like I was getting tired of writing about myself and I wanted, I was looking at the time, I was looking for new inspiration and um, I thought it would be a good way to develop some lyrical material that would be exploring, it could explore many different sub themes within the, within the context. So it's like, like a lot of the songs can be like extrapolated into like other contexts too, so yeah. Excellent. <laughs> All right, well let's uh, let's keep the music going, uh, and we'll cool. get, we'll talk more about about putting this record together when we come back. Cool. This song is called Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. 
So, Robin, you're uh, classically trained, um, and you, you mentioned earlier that part of starting this project was uh, trying to write for more than just piano. Yeah. Uh, could you maybe talk a little bit or elaborate on that a little bit more? Um, I guess um, I, I actually just told this story this morning, and I, while I was telling it, I was like, is this even true anymore? I don't know. <laughs> but um, basically, I was like getting really frustrated with playing I used to play solo with, and I just 
getting frustrated with like the instrument. I would just be, get given whatever piano was at the venue is always really bad. <coughs> and um, and then also like at the time I wanted to be more portable with music that I was making. And so I was like, what if it was just voices? And so I got really into barbershop for like two weeks. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that's sort of where it started. Interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, I, I guess looking at the, the, the other singers in the band, has, has this been, uh, have you been acquainted with a project like this before? Have you been a part of a project like this that has mixed this kind of vocal arrangement? I haven't. We've well, we we went to school we went together, to jazz, jazz school, school together, and we, we, so we've done a lot of like multi-voice, lots of harmony, lots of harmony stuff, jet, vocal jazz, but nothing like this where it's like small small vocals mm -hmm. and then like combo like like rhythm section. I don't know. I've never been in a group. I've never. I don't even know. I don't know. The only thing like things I can think of like I don't know. Like I feel who who we always get compared to again that band with the hawking. Dirty protector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. Dirty protector. <laughs> I suppose they're a worse band. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. They're not coming up to you saying, yeah, you guys sound like corn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty unique and it's very, it's, it's very fun. It's really fun to sing in this group. Yes. I like how Rob, Robin writes stuff. Like, it's really, <laughs> like, Robin writes stuff, and I feel like she's actually, like, it's interesting being with her for, like, we've been together for, like, three years, four years. Four years. like, a really long time, It's been, actually. like, a long time. And, like, Robin has grown as, I'm very proud of her. <laughs> yeah. She's really grown in terms of the way that she writes for our voices, I yeah. think. It's really fun. It's, it keeps changing. It keeps changing, and it's, like, and she, like, she's, like, okay, this works. And, like, you can see how she's yeah. thinking kind <laughs> of. It's, like, like I, I really respect Robin. Oh, like, you I guys. do! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now, considering your classical background, um, you've done a pretty seamless job in, in like marrying the complexity of, of uh, more classical inspired music um, with the ex accessibility of pop music. Can you maybe talk about like how you've approached writing w with those two um, different elements? Yeah, yeah I think um, I, th I've, I think in terms of pop form, I think now at this point, but I think also uh, writing wise in terms of um, like uh, kind of not process based so much anymore, but like sort of like a, some, some sort of texture or technique. So um, especially for the for their parts. So like the first song that we did, it's like -da 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 -da. it was very much all about like how I can make them layer. It's kind of a hawk it. <coughs> Like roundy. Yeah, it's kind of so. I, I think that part first. I'm like, what's cool, like vocally, that can be cool to play with. Um, but then I'm always like, cool verse, chorus, or whatever. I don't know. Part A, part B. <laughs> um, there's like one kind of through composed tune that will play near the end of the set. That's kind of like that. Yeah. So yeah, every song ends up being a little bit different, actually. So yeah. That's great. Let's let's get to another one. Yeah, actually, can I get a little bit more keyboard in the monitor? Just like a tiny, tiny bit more. Thank you. Um, let's see. What are we doing? Headroom. Nice. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Squeezed out of memories Rain on the wooden stairs Dusty da -da 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 -da. Tree Haunted basement microwaves Big meals around big tables Arms passing ends reminding Chopsticks shut up on a ring Home for lunch Walk to the park Rubbery piano lesson Things shrink as we get old There goes a da 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 me We got trapped All the things you said, all the things you did, all the things you thought. 
to cancel i was like ah. but, hey you're rallying like a champ right mm, yeah. now awesome um yep. <laughs> now would you only have uh, just a couple of songs left but uh just going back to what we were talking about uh in terms of composition and the concept of the album was there a specific soundscape that you had in mind when you were putting together this particular record um I really wanted to um, <coughs> like feature the voice. This is always a goal of mine, and I'm always inching towards it, but never like fully getting there, I think. But wanting to strip it down a bit um, and have it less dense, feature the voices more, and have less dependency on the keyboard. So that's sort of my overall goals. Yeah. I, th I think you, you can really feel that on the record. There's a lot of space between all of the parts, even in mm -hmm. the instruments as well. Um, and then, but the way that they'll meld together is really quite substantial. So I think, I think you did it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely evolving from the last yeah. couple yeah. of records, yeah. I think. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get uh, on to the next one, I suppose. Sure. Am I doing the... Oh. Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to. Sure, yeah. Okay.
So we're just about to wrap up here, but um, what's what's up next for you folks? We have a show tomorrow, at the Monday. Le- Monday at the Lido. What day is this air? That's a great question. It's not. <laughs> it's not it's probably not tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, well, we're just getting ready to do some touring. Yeah. We're gonna go out to the central Canada. <laughs> we call it the East Coast, <laughs> but it's actually central Canada. Um, we're going to go down the West Coast and just do a little couple of festivals in the summer. Yeah. Okay. Just play music when we can. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, let's get let's get to the next track and then we'll we'll say we'll say bye and we'll close off another session here. Cool. 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 <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it was great. Thank you so much for joining us up here today for another edition of our live uh, Studio 6 session. Um, it, the new album is uh, Technicolor Education. Congratulations on the record, and good luck with Thank the touring. You. And Thank you. All that Thank comes you. up next for you folks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks cool. a lot. Thanks so much. Thanks for having right. us. Well, uh, from, uh, if, you, if you folks would like to play us out, uh, th this has once again been another edition of the Studio 6 live session here from CGSF 90.1 FM from the very top of Burnaby Mountain at the SFU Burnaby campus. <laughs> this is Only a vin Visitor, and uh, I'm Jamie Sestrid. Cool. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we have one last song. This is called Visiting Light, and this is off our last record, but everything you heard just now, we just basically played through the album in order. So, yeah, this is Visiting Light. Red-tinted flashlight Astronomers stay up late at night Rocks, dust, and rabbit brush On a family trip for dad and us Motorhomes and telescopes In the desert of Mango